Hi, this is V and welcome to my YouTube channel, VTV. And happy Halloween, guys. I'm finally doing this and I hope you like and learn and whatever I'm going to do today. So, for today's agenda is I'm going to transform my face into Cleopatra. That's going to be my Halloween thing for Halloween. I hope you like it, and at the same time, I'll also be telling you six popular beliefs about uh, Cleopatra. Let's see whether or not it's just a myth, or is it true, or was it just one big fat lie? So stay tuned, and let me get back to you once this is done. Get it? Got it? Okay. Hi guys, it's me, V, back, and I hope... You like it? If not, well, let me do better next time. So this is my first time actually applying fake lashes and it was so hard to do because most of the time I just poke my eyeballs. But, well, yeah, it's there if you can see it. Okay, so now that I've got my Halloween on and Cleopatra Egyptian thing on, <laughs> let's proceed. Uh, the six things I'd like to talk to you about Cleopatra is, first is her beauty. Um, it's always like, wait, let me fix this real quick. Okay, it's always um, exaggerated how, how beautiful she is, how extravagant she is, but actually, this is what she looks like. So, what do you think? Uh, some say <laughs> that she's quite plain or ugly, but I don't really think that much of it because some had said, experts, that she would uh, like have control of how she is perceived as in that coin because she wanted to look like a dominant ruler so she had to like um enhance the nose make it bigger and make her make herself look more masculine but sadly guys to clarify again the hollywood movies about her beauty is not true so she's either okay looking or plain looking but in today's standards she's not that beautiful Next is she was an Egyptian. In fact, she was not an Egyptian. Egyptian. She was Macedonian Greek. So her families are Macedonian Greeks, and in today's standards, she is white. More like European white because she's Greek. So to anyone who's hot on that topic, whether she's black or white, she is white. She's white because um, through everything that. Uh, Egyptologists and historians have said uh, there's just no evidence that she was black so until such evidence has been found again this is she was not an Egyptian and she was not black so she's white she's Greek okay so let us call our tits next up she is a seductress I don't think she is a seductress because she only married two of her brothers and had two Roman lovers, if you know who I'm talking about. And that is my family, so... It's... Sh Anyways, I disregard them, quarreling. Um, she had two brothers that she had to marry because it was customary for her to be queen. And she had two lovers, if you know them, Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony, so she could have the Roman backing, so she could keep her throne as the Egyptian queen. So, I don't think she was a seductress, more on like Octavian is really doing his best to have a war on words and paint her as this really bad villain, this bewitching character. So, yeah, and even if she had a ha- but even if she had a harem of men, like a reverse harem, it would be okay because in ancient Egypt, it was alright to have a polygamy of some sort. Plus, she was queen, so I think she could do whatever the hell she wanted, right? Okay. Next up, was she a murderer or a killer? This is actually um, true because in her family, it was to kill or be killed. In the Ptolemies, her, their, her royal family, which she was a part of, um, if you wanted to like keep the power, you had to kill either your brother or sister or anyone part of your bloodline because anyone who shares an ounce of blood with you is seen as a threat to your power. So of course she had to kill two of her brothers. Well, the first brother, her first husband slash brother, Ptolemy the 
12th didn't um, actually die by her orders, but he drowned. And the second one is um, her second brother, who is Ptolemy the 14th. Yeah, he, um, he she had him assassinated or seriously killed. And the other sibling that she had killed was Arsinoe, her sister. Next up, lavish lifestyle. Yes, she had a lavish life. Uh, yes, she had a lavish lifestyle. Well, isn't that a given when you're a queen? So this is true, but you have to um, get it in your head that she was not only playing as a queen; she was also playing as a god to her subjects, the Egyptian people. Fun fact: If you're a pharaoh or queen of Egypt, you had to play leader and god. And she always um, embodied being the living god, which is Isis, the mother goddess. So yes, and the fact that she had a lot of gold wasn't really something that she only did. The Egyptians believed that the more gold that you have on your body or the more gold that you wear, it would mean that you would be more protected by the gods. So that was their thing. Next and last is her death by a snake. Okay, so this is the part where the myth of her ordering a snake to come and bite me on my nipple has been exaggerated, but actually it's not true because if you were bitten by a snake, it would not have an immediate effect. You would probably die after a few hours or a few days, so that's not likely. Yes, it's been um, exaggerated, so mostly the cause of death of her suicide is um, poison or because of the hair thingy that she has, like an accessory that she laced with poison. So those are the theories, but not yet proven. So yeah, again, her beauty was not extravagant. She was not a uh, beauty, especially in today's standards. Two, she was not an Egyptian. She is Macedonian Greek. Three, she is not a seductress. Maybe she was just really charming. Mm -hmm. Next up is, yes, she was a murderer, but that's a thing that they do in their family. Five is the lavish lifestyle. Because she's queen, yes, she had a lavish lifestyle. And it was also like um, a thing for her because she was not only their queen, she was also the god, their god. So of course, she had to play the part. Last. Her suicide was not caused by a snake, probably poison. So again, those were the popular beliefs of Cleopatra. And thank you so much for staying with me and letting me talk to you about Cleopatra. Happy Halloween. This is my costume for her today. And um, I'd just like to leave you with this, that Cleopatra was the last queen of Egypt, as I've said, and she was a queen built by words and not by evidence. And I hope you learned something. Stay safe and take care. See you next time.